Uh, thank you, Deputy Speaker. Um, it seems as though the Victorian State Labor Government are close to announcing their model of their preferred Melbourne Airport Rail Link project. This project was initially costed between $10 and $13 billion, and the Federal Government initially put $5 billion on the table to help drive this project forward. Um, and they also wanted to make sure that this project was done properly. To build the link to the airport from Melbourne CBD in a way that would enhance passenger services in Victoria, uh, will always require a designated tunnel from the CBD out to West Footscray. And once at West Footscray, a new above ground track can easily be made on the way out to Tullamarine and beyond. With a designated tunnel, uh, a regional services to Bendigo, Ballarat, Shepparton, Wangaratta and Albury Wodonga will also have the opportunity to benefit from uh, with, uh, with uh, these lines heading straight into the centre of Melbourne. Uh, without having to deal with the Metro stopping all stations trains. But State Labor don't want to build a designated tunnel. This is where the problem really gets messy. We can expect Sunbury, Melton to grow to cities bigger than Geelong at the moment by 2036. So in 16 years, we can expect enormous cities in the west. Werribee can be, will be growing to the size of Canberra. To service these lines is going to effectively um, use the full capacity of the MM1 tunnels that are currently getting built. By the time the MM1 is complete, it will be over full capacity, simply servicing these western suburbs and these new mega cities. If the MM1 uh, has to deliver also six to eight services per hour to the airport as part of Airport Rail Link, it will mean that all services to the western suburbs and beyond will be completely and significantly restricted plus any services to northeast, the north and northwest of Victoria will be denied yet again. We are used to seeing the state Labor government in Victoria building projects that ignore regional Victorian cities, towns and communities. But what we are not used to seeing is state Labor, in particular Jacinda Allen, the Transport Minister, and Premier Daniel Andrews, we're not used to seeing them putting in place a major, major project that will not only rule out regional Victorians, but will also seriously damage the ability of those living in the western suburbs to actually use their train systems. And in particular, Werribee, Sunbury and Melton, and also the inner west will be significantly damaged by, uh, by this project. The councils across Melbourne, Western Melbourne, Northern Victoria, Western Victoria, have written and they are desperate that we try and stop the Victorian government go ahead with this project uh, without a designated tunnel. So when you see so many councils, so many committees for, that are desperately opposed to this Victorian project, I think it's only right that the federal government do everything we can to stop it. This time has expired. And I